Good morning, Glasgow, Naga. It's lovely to be here with you. Hey, who did you hear there? You have heard this fabulous audience we've got in front of us and my colleague, Amy Irons, at BBC Scotland headquarters. We're in Glasgow on the banks of the Clyde um, and I think we're going to have a fabulous morning and afternoon of conversation, Amy. I think you're absolutely right, Naga. It's a pleasure to be joining forces this morning to have you up here in Glasgow as, yes, we do something a little bit different. We're talking about sex and the impact that the pandemic has had on all of our sex lives, whether it's meant we're having more, whether we're having less or it hasn't really changed, whether it's changed the way some people get their sexual pleasure and whether being in lockdown has changed every part of our relationship, whether that is for better or for worse. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be a, a short conversation over no. the next couple of hours, is it? <laughs> so our fantastic audience that we have here in Glasgow that I can tell are excited even behind the masks. <laughs> the question question is, are you having more sex? Give me a wee whoop if you are. Are you having less? Okay. That's so fine. You don't need to be as excited about that. That's fine. I see a couple of... The silence there was yeah. so funny. <laughs> Stacey. Where's Stacey? Hey, Stacey. I mean, what do you think? We're talking about sex now and we're talking about, you know, whether people are having good or bad experiences. Is there too much emphasis on how much sex we're having? Would I like to be having more sex? Like, of course. Like, you know, that's just one of those things. Like, that's how I am. I'm sorry, Mum. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, so I, I think, I think the pandemic has brung, you know, kind of there is some anxiety around it. You know, obviously mixing with different people and things like that. Is it harder to meet someone during a pandemic? Absolutely. You know, you, you can't do the the kind of normal ways that you would have, you know, met someone before. You know, like nightclubs haven't been open, pubs really haven't it's been open. It's almost like you have so. to commit earlier to yeah. meeting someone, isn't but it? But also, like, you know, if you're doing it online, like, you know, you can say and do and be whoever you want online, you know, you know you're buying a screen like what what do you actually learn about a person you have to meet them eventually like you have to have some sort of you know physical connection eventually so it does make things significantly dif difficult okay in the audience did anyone change the way they were living or change their circumstances with a partner i was getting up earlier anyway and making sure that coffee was on um dishes were done and stuff so i actually think what I've heard today, I actually think that I've actually been quite fortunate because the more proactive I've been, the more fortunate endings I've had. <laughs> I'm sure to see. It's an apt phrase, Bob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. um, just... <laughs> I'm just being honest. You know? <laughs> no, that's, and that's, what want, that's what we want, Bob. Absolutely what we're all about. I suppose, so you could take more time to be considerate and show your partner that you were thinking about them more rather than being kind of wrapped up in the day-to-day, -day, you know, Yeah, because, grind. Um, you know, I, I'd run before I went to work, got to train and stuff like that, but now... I actually saw what uh, my wife did when I wasn't there. And, you know, I was just like, wow, okay. You know, <laughs> I was like, I can help you with this, do you know? So, yeah, and then obviously, I mean, it's an old saying goes in that you treat her like a queen, she'll treat you like a king, do you know what I mean? So, yeah, I was very fortunate in that. Oh, it sounds lovely. It sounds as if you're having a really good time. Please do you. Did anyone have an experience during lockdown? We're talking about relationships, but we're talking about sex as well. Did anyone have an experience during lockdown where they would meet someone and... You weren't supposed to. Obviously, lots of people were walking side by side, two metres apart, of course. People who just wanted to have sex. Yes. When I was doing online dating during the pandemic, I just felt like people wanted just to have sex. I was trying to build up this communication with them, and then I felt everything was going well. But when it got down to the point where we were going to arrange a date, they would say, do you want to come to my house and have some fun? Um, even when I was going on dates with them, it would quickly escalate to sex. Um, I find it very difficult. I'm in my late thirties. I'm looking for a relationship. So what would that? What what did that look like? So you'd kind of be in contact online. You'd swipe left. And... So swipe right is yes. Swipe oh, left sorry. is a no. Okay. We don't. We don't want. <laughs> okay. oh, I, I, I haven't done that it. Is, okay. That, 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 yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you swipe right, yeah. and then you you chat kind of individ individually, yes. and then you arrange to meet. Yes, you can do your so during pandemic, a lot of it the apps were set up for virtual dates, right? Um, or you could choose yourself to go for a, the, I mean the only options were really going for a walk with a coffee. Um, but I suppose my question was, 
did someone want to take that walk with a coffee further? Yes, uh -huh. I, ha I had that quite often. Um, and it was, you can see why people are frustrated. They're not having sex. But for me, that's not what I was looking for. I felt like during uh, lockdown, I learned so much about myself. Mm -hmm. I have been in so many d d like dates where I just kind of caved and would do, you know, my book's all about fetishes and things like that. Um, I was a people pleaser, obviously, yes, but during the pandemic, it made me realise what I wanted. And when I came out of it, I realised I want a relationship. I'm not going to be a people pleaser anymore. I'm just going to, when I'm doing the online dating, if someone says something I don't like, it's going to be a swipe left, a yeah. match. Well, did anyone, is anyone in the audience, did anyone enjoy that kind of old-fashioned, let's go for a walk? Hi. Yeah, I enjoyed it. What's it your was, name? It, sorry, it's Rachel. Oh, another Rachel. Um, yeah, I thought it was like, you see, like old fashioned, like, I felt like I was being courted, like maybe like back in like the 50s or 60s or something, which I really liked. Um, so being made to feel special. Yeah. Perhaps, uh -huh, and, and, and certain stages in the dating progress towards yeah. sex, maybe, or be the bedroom not being skipped. Uh, I think, and we definitely made like the most of the time that we had just like learning about each other's personalities and getting that emotional connection, which then would make the more physical side more special when it came to that in the end. And were you able to, to wait in the sense that, you know, you were just like, these are the rules, so I'm just going to indulge yeah, in this? I just had to stick with it. Really, didn't really have a choice. Like I said, we had a bit of a, a distance as well, like about 100 miles away from each other too. So we had no choice but to stick to that. But yeah, as soon as like things opened up, when I first met him, I was a bit like, oh, like, do we hug? Do we not? Like, what do we do? So I wasn't too sure. But yeah, then you just kind of fall at it and you can't help yourself sometimes. <laughs> so yeah. Has anyone's libido gone up? Oh, so we've got two, two hands up, two hands up there. Um, has anyone's gone down? Oh, let's hear from you. Let's hear from you. Um, where you said your, your libido's gone down. What do you think? What do you think that's behind that? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I, can, I was dating kind of throughout the pandemic, and my libido was okay, I guess. But I kind of just plummeted maybe this year a little bit, which is a bit. It's obviously a bit inconvenient at the same time. But also, I did meet my boyfriend uh, this year as well, um, which isn't. It's not been the best, obviously, in terms of. Uh, might having a little be doing a new relationship, but we're still obviously going strong. But I, I don't really know what it is because when we started dating, obviously it was there wasn't as many lockdown restrictions, so it's not as if it was that that was keeping me in. It was I was able to flourish a little bit more, but at the same time, libido just kind of somehow dropped. Well, Dr. Christian, and what's that explained? Because I think you can put a lot of pressure on yourself, can't you? When things start opening up, you think, yeah, I can get out there, I can, you know, connect again, physically connect with someone, but actually, life has changed and our attitudes have changed and we have to be more accepting of that. The commonest, actually, sort of symptoms that I've heard over the last 18 months, lots of different factors can influence that as well. Um, but I think that chronic stress that's bumbling away on a low level in all of us has a huge role to play. Fatigue, people are just tired, they're fed up. It's just they don't know where they're, if they're coming or going or what's happening. And then you're expected to just go out into this new state of normal and just be as you would have done previously. Um, so I think that, yes, at the moment, people coming out uh, into this new world, um, it's about being open. And I think if libido is impacting you, I would just wish people would come forward and speak to their doctor more about it, whether it's mental health that's the underlying cause, whether it's a medical condition, whether it could be the sign of something that causes tiredness, lots of different conditions behind that, side effects of medication. Um, I think it's something that people shouldn't shy away and actually just get help for because it can hugely impact a relationship. And right now, more than ever, we just, we need to kind of get out there and just try and reconnect to normality as much as we can. BBC Sounds. Music, radio, podcasts.